What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Raven Type of Forever. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm back with another video, but before I get into that video, I want to remind everyone that I need a link to a different playlist in every description box. Take time to click on that link, run the views up, run the thumbs up up, run the comments up, and if you feel the need to share the playlist, feel free to share it. Today, I'm back with another video. As I told y'all before, uh, I'm getting a lot of stories out my phone. I needed to get out of the way, and I say it to my Google Chrome bookmarks and i'm getting out of the way this week here or before february is i want to get these stories out the way and share my thoughts on them and go for them today is i'm setting my thoughts on feds find rick ross and family members for multiple weed stock restaurant violations i came across this story a while back on instagram and now and never got around to it now sharing my thoughts on it Multiple Wingstop locations in Mississippi run by Rick Ross and his family have been fined by the Department of Labor's Ways in our division for several violations. Several violations. On August 11th, the Department of Labor's Ways in our division announced it had collected $114,427 in back wages, liquidated damages, and civil penalties. From five weed stock locations in the state operated by Boss Weed Enterprises. SSL learned on Tuesday, August 16th, $51,674 in back wages and liquidated damages for 244 workers were recovered as well as an assessment of $62,753 in civil money penalties. Wow, that's a lot of money. The violations include forcing employees to illegally pay for safety training, uniforms, background checks, and cash register shortages. In some instances, this caused some employees' average hourly rates to fall below the 725 federal minimum wage. The operators of the locations are also accused of. Uh, the operators of the locations are also accused of record keeping violations with the DOLWHD said they failed to maintain a record of employee hours worked and wage deductions. The, the investigation also discovered boss weeds allowed a 15-year-old employee to work past 10 p.m. on multiple occasions last June. The law prohibited 14 and 15 years old from working past 7 p.m. Oh, wow. So in Mississippi, they, 14 and 15 year olds can't work past 7 p.m. The restaurant industry employees work hard, often for low wages, and many depend on every dollar earned to make ends meet, said Wage and Hour Division District Attorney of Mississippi. The law prevents Boss Weed Enterprises LC from shifting operating costs to workers by deducting the cost of uniform cash, register shortages, or training expenses, or to allow workers pay to, to fall below the minimum wage. For that state for rape. Rick Ross, his sister Tawanda Roberts, and mother Tommy Roberts are listed as owners of Boss Weed Enterprises LC in Mississippi. The Miami rapper poorly owns nearly 30 weed stock franchises across the U.S. and often promotes the company in his rhymes. That's crazy. That's crazy. So, this, that this was going to Mississippi. This was going to Mississippi. Miners was working more hours than what they should. Won't keep a track of it. It was no record how many. It was no record how many workers that the company had, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, on more than one occasion, a fourteen and fifteen year work past seven p.m. in Mississippi. Fourteen and fifteen years can't work past seven p.m. Uh, yeah, failed to maintain a record of employee hours, work, and wage deductions. And it says the violations include forced employees to illegally illegally pay for safety training, uniforms, background checks, and cash register shortages. You know what I mean? I'm like, wow, that's that's a lot of violations. Something we see every day, just so we find it took the time to take a stand and make a difference. That's a lot of violations. I didn't know that. I know companies can can force the employee to pay for. 
cash shortages, but they know they can they can force you to pay. They can make you pay for uniform, safety training, uh, background checks. Why would they need a, a background check to work at a fast food restaurant? But nowadays, this is the world we live in. You know what I mean? This is the world we live in. Crazy world, but that's what it comes to. You know, people trying to get over by all we necessary and. When it comes to a job, your employer only will do what you allow your employee to do. Your employer to do. Like uh, when I was working for McDonald's back in high school, uh, this one manager named Josh, him and his girlfriend, Beth, they're down there in Orlando, Florida. They work at the uh, Aloma McDonald's, Fur Park. And I remember it used to be every day, every payday, it used to be a line of workers at the office that had joint shortages. And at the time, while I went to McDonald's, when the ship changed, they were just taking all the registers, stack them in the office, and count them later. So there was no way to verify that these employees were short, were short when they registered. You know what I mean? But yet, they were taxing each employee for it. And nobody took a stand. So with that being said, a job will only get away with what you allow that job to get away with. You know what I mean? They will only get away with what you allow them to get away with. It is clear these employees are hugging that through a lot of nonsense until someone eventually took a stance to say, hey, look at this. We stop, Rick Ross, we stop, and break a lot of rules and regulations. Something needs to be done. So it's not what it takes. It takes one brave person to take a stand and it goes for them. You know, I I got to say that that's, that's a crazy situation, but, you know, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. That's you no. Know, people try to save money. Companies try to save money every way they can. You know, that's what it comes to. Trying to save money and make more money every way that they can. You know, those are my thoughts. For a shout out in my shout out video the last Sunday, in February. Tell me in the comment how you feel about this situation. Fans find Rick Ross and family members for multiple weed stop viol restaurant violations. Let me know your thoughts in the comment. I give you a shout out my shout out video the last Sunday in February. Also, if you like my thoughts on this, remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Make sure you turn on post bit notifications. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Don't forget, I leave a link to a different playlist in every description box. Feel free to click on the links, run the views up, run the thumbs up up, run the comments up. And then feel the lead to share the playlist. Feel free to share the playlist. Um... I'm trying to I'm, I'm grind it hard to get these views up higher than usual. I get tired of sitting. That's what I go check. It's higher than you. It's the same as usual. I'm trying to get it higher than usual and reach my one million views by December 31st, 2023.